Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll be going through how to create custom get and post endpoints using nothing else but Node and Express.js. Let us begin. So to start, um, right now I currently have some boilerplate code that I generated using a module called Express-Generator. Uh, Express and basically that helps you create a quick uh, Express app uh, setting up um, your client files as well as uh, some basic backend files. And uh, if you ever want to check that out, you can just go express, oh, sorry, npm install express-generator and you can install it globally. And um, I already have it installed, so I won't type it. Um, but once you have that, what you can do is do, um, here's a list of the commands what you can do. Um, you can type express dash dash, for example, dash dash view, and then type in your template engine. I'm using pug. And as you can see here, my view are all uh, pug files. And Anyway, but yeah, that's beyond the scope of this video. Um, so back to creating endpoints. Um, since we've already have this boilerplate code generated for us, we can use the uh, express router provided for us here, and we can follow pretty much this format uh, for the root page. Um, and we can follow this in that we can type router.get, uh, we'll call it um, get stuff, and we'll just set up this function. All right, and I guess once we get into the endpoint, we want to know somehow. So just a quick log message, get stuff, endpoint call. All right, and this endpoint will work right now by itself, but ideally we want to return something because it is a get endpoint. And actually, if we call this endpoint right now, it will just go on and on forever. The request will never terminate, uh, which is not what we want. So what we can do is we can type res. Dot, and res here represents the response. So res.json. And I guess we'll just return a JSON object. We can attach a message node saying, um, here is the, oops, here's the response. All right, and semicolon, all right. And so now there's two ways to test this. Um, from the default boilerplate code, we can do um, npm start. Um, one issue is, is with this is that um, if we ever make any changes again, we'll have to uh, terminate the terminal and then restart again, restart the express server and that's just kind of slow. So there is actually a module called um, nodemon, and you can also install it globally if you like. Um, you can type this command, and basically what nodemon is is that it's, um, it enables you to perform hot reload on any of your um, files in your repository or code base. And it's a really helpful uh, module, I highly recommend it. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it, um, nodemon start. All right, and as you can see, the server has been started, and let's just go ahead and test this endpoint. Um, there are different ways where you can test it. Um, you can, for example, you can use uh, HTTP REST clients um, such as Postman or Insomnia. I can, I'll link them below in the description. Um, right now, I'll just be using Insomnia. Um, I've already set up these basic endpoints. Uh, for, let's use our get one. And I'm just gonna type localhost. And I'm doing this on port 3000. So 3000 and get stuff. All right, click send. And as you can see here, um, we get our response back from the res.json. Here's the response. And we also get our log message here in the terminal um, get stuff endpoint call. All right, so that's the get stuff endpoint. Now let's move on to creating a post endpoint. Um, it will follow the similar format because uh, Express has made it so easy for us um, to create endpoints. Um, and we'll just do router.post. Um, you probably could have guessed that based off the previous example. Um, I'll do post stuff, but yeah, never follow these names. I'm just creating this for the sake of an example. Um, and we'll create a quick log message, post stuff endpoint, oops, endpoint call. All right, and we'll do same thing. We'll just return some object um, so that we know it's been called. Here is the response from post stuff. And semicolon. All right, and as you can see, it restarts when I save. I'm just gonna go here and localhost 3000 host stuff. All right, and it worked. All right, but the only issue is that with post requests, often you it's usually used for um, say like a form submission or any kind of actually any kind of request actually where you want to send data um, to the server, just to perhaps storing it to some database. And what you can do is um, you can actually attach a request body. And basically, if you attach a request body, you will be able to access it here. 
um, we'll just show you how with a quick log message. Uh, we'll go ahead and do console.log um, body just so we can see it easily. Request.body. All right, it saves and here we go. And as you can see, I'm passing in some JSON body into the post request. And in our log, we get the object back. And if you want a particular attribute, you can go, I'll just get attribute one. Um, and go here, send again. Oh, I don't think it loaded yet. All right, and there we go. As you can see, we get value one. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the basics of uh, creating a get or post endpoint uh, using Node and Express. Um, but yeah, that wraps up this, this video. Um, if there's anything you guys want a tutorial about, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.